girls, Kaylee here. Today I'm doing this Marie Antoinette inspired updo that you could wear for Halloween. You could do it for a lot of different period pieces if you want, but this was the original hairstyle that I'm using. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. First you're going to make the base. You're going to start by separating kind of a halo of hair at the top of your head and use a bun maker to go ahead and create a bun on top and roll it down just like a sock bun. You want a bun maker because we're actually going to be pinning directly into this and you can't pin into a sock. So once you have that in place, you're going to go ahead and pin it to make sure that it's secure and not wobbling around everywhere because we want our base not to move at all. And now our next step is to cover the base because you don't want to see that. So what you're going to do is take a piece from the front and if you have fine hair, you want to tease it just a little bit and then drape it over the top and pin it in place. Do the same thing on either side and then we're going to work on the back. And basically this just helps it so that it makes that nice shape that goes underneath all the pin curls that we're going to do. So take an inch down from the bun maker in the back and tease it. And if you don't have fine hair, you might not need to tease, but fine hair flops, so you kind of need to tease it. Um, but go ahead and wrap it from the ends and kind of wrap it up against the head like a giant roller almost. And then put it right beneath the bun maker and pin it in place. And that will create a nice base for all the curls we're getting ready to do. So step three is to pin curl. Basically you're going to take an iron that's like maybe an inch and you can do this with a clipless curling iron as well. Go ahead and curl the hair and then arrange it into a pin curl by kind of winding the hair back up into that circle and putting it where you want it and then you can pin it once at the top and if you need to you can pin it again at the bottom. But I like to do it that way so that the pin isn't showing through the curl at all and it's still really stable. And sorry that I'm not looking at the camera for these clips, you'll be able to see some later. So I started in the middle and then I'm going to do one on either side of that to create that front portion. And then on the other side. And you do kind of want to curl it because it makes this whole pin curling thing a lot easier because it, it puts the hair kind of into that curled shape and gives it some bend so it makes it a little bit easier to work with. So you can see how I styled the front there. Now the side one you might be able to see just a little bit better. But basically you're going to continue with that hair that's kind of in front of your ear, position it where you want it like that, and then pin it in place. And then on the other side you're just going to curl, and then position it and pin it. And then you can see that we have this hair that's hanging down from when we draped it over the top. You're going to go ahead and put those right on top of the head, so curl them and then pin them on top. And then do the same thing on the other side. Now, you don't have to do these sections exactly like I did. This is going to be a lot of you working with your hair and your layers to make it work for you. You're just going to try to put pin curls at different heights so you can give the appearance of having a lot of them. And if you want to have those little ringlets hanging down by your ears, this is where you need to go ahead and separate them out. Now we're going to start with the back. What I actually did was to do two rows in the back. So I went down and used inch sections from just below where I parted it to cover up the base. And that left me a little bit of hair to work with. Then I went ahead and used the hair at the very nape of my neck to finish it off. You don't want to overlap any of these, that way you look like you have tons of little ringlets on your head instead of maybe only four or five. So place these just below the row that you just did. And it always helps to check your work in a mirror. Don't wait until the end of the hairstyle to look in a mirror because you will be probably just a little bit upset. Um, that's what happens with me anyway with these kind of hairstyles when it needs to be a little bit more precise. So once you've got that one placed and pinned, we're going to go ahead and work on the little ringlets in the front. Now you don't have to do these. You can always pin those up with everything else if you want to. My hair is an awkward length for little ringlets like these. It's kind of long. So, you know, it might not look as good on me, but you can always try it on you and see if you like it. And if you don't, you can always pin them back up on top of your head. But this is the finished hairstyle. I hope you guys like it and let me know if you try it out. And I will see you guys on Tuesday with my final Halloween tutorial. Here are some more videos to check out. I have a Pride and Prejudice up to if you want another kind of romantic hairstyle. And then my Angel Fairy Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell I'm sorry, hairstyles. That's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!